How's it going guys? Welcome to the Minute Channel. It is pretty late right now, so uh, <laughs> Yeah, so today we're gonna be talking about a persona stuff. It is like 3 in the morning and um, Yeah, so this news dropped pretty early or pretty late depending on where you are in the world pertaining some some really really cool stuff uh, regarding new Persona IPs. So, nothing has been confirmed as of yet, but um, typically when Atlas is gonna announce new stuff or they're gonna um, make new stuff, they reserve the um, websites for them. So, for example, uh, a, lo a while ago, they did, uh, they deserved uh, Persona Q2, uh, P3D, you know, P5R, P5S, those kind of stuff. Uh, so, they actually, it's kind of funny enough, they uh, maintain some of them, but the biggest thing for us now is that they changed a particular um, Persona game, which is also pretty cool. There are some that, uh, so the, the ones that they actually just registered or they have renewed and registered is Persona 8. Uh, Persona 9, Persona 10, in Persona 5U, P5U.jp. So that's the one that we're gonna focus on today. Uh, that's one of the ones that we're gonna be excited for because it's the one that kind of just matters to us as far as like what that could mean. Uh, needed to say, uh, also in that vein, there are two other Persona um, 5 websites that are still up uh, as far as domains, but they could get taken down at any time. One of them is P5B, and the other one is P5M. We don't know what they are, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the um, guessing and just kind of predicting what this is gonna be for us. So P5U obviously is another spin-off or sequel to whatever we can see in the series. Now I personally think this is probably gonna be the, the next project they're gonna announce just simply because they are the one that they just actually changed to. Uh, it originally it was supposed to be P5AG. So we don't know what that means <laughs> either, uh, but we can definitely um, um, take some guesses, take some jabs to see what it's supposed to be. Um, I think this is supposed to be the fighting game. I think uh, if you guys remember P4U, uh, also known as Persona 4 Ultimax, was one of the games. So I don't know. I, I really think that they're probably gonna do a Persona 5 Ultimax. Uh, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the series, especially the, the fighting games, uh, because of a lot of different reasons. Now uh, we know. Uh, on the arc system size, the, the, they have two themes. They have the blue theme that is working on Guilty Gear, which is going to be releasing really soon, and then they have the red theme, which it works on, on the, uh, the other game. Which um, I'm sorry, Clust uh, Blaze Blue backwards. I'm sorry. Red theme is um, Guilty Gear. Blue theme is. Uh, I'm <sighs> sorry, it's really early <laughs> in the morning or really late in the morning uh, and then blaze blue that does the other thing around so uh, that but we know uh, for sure at this point of that the red theme is obviously working on something We don't know what the blue thing is working on uh, it could very well be another persona game uh, I know David had mentioned before in, in his video a while ago that he doesn't believe that there's gonna be another persona uh, arena game for a little different reasons. I still would like one. I, I have my my faith shaken because he is writing a lot of aspects. You know, uh, Arc Systems does have a lot of uh, work to do. And they have a lot of priorities that they're working on. And um, they did make a lot of money out of the, uh, the particularly out of the um, Dragon Ball Z game that they released not that long ago. Uh, it was extremely, extremely successful. And he just shot them off a roof. Now they put them in a worldwide perspective with a lot of other, uh, you know, now in, in a more competitor aspect and everything. So uh, I I don't know what it could mean for Persona, but I personally would like to see Persona 4, uh, I'm sorry, Persona 5 Ultimax or uh, an arena type game for Persona 5, first of all. 
I've seen, I feel like the Persona 5 storyline lends itself better for something like an Ultimax type of situation more than Persona 4. Uh, so I feel like it will just be so smooth. And there is also another way to continue the storyline as well. It's one of my things that, that I would like to see actually happen at some point. I'm, I'm a huge fan of uh, fighting games like I mentioned before. And it's because I really, really like the storyline. It's really dumb, but it kind of is also really fun. And uh, as a fan of the games, it's just kind of like... Uh, to me, it's just kind of like a celebration of Persona, like a weird way, like a weird different way kind of situation. <laughs> so I'm just excited to see that. I'm just excited to see what this could mean for the series. I don't know anything about them. I don't know what it could be or anything like that. Um, I don't believe they're going to continue to do a lot of spin-offs. I think they probably will do one more uh, or two. <laughs> but um, although, yes, Persona 5 is this... Uh, money making machine at this time where they just kind of print out games and people are going to buy them anyway and with the success of uh, Persona 5 Rojo uh, Persona 5 Strikers just did super super well it, it broke all types of records uh, it's the fourth best selling game uh, in the Persona franchise <laughs> and it's funny because it's it's a spin-off and it just sold super well so it's it's uh it's fantastic if you guys want some numbers i still haven't talked about it yet but persona 5 strikers sold over 1.3 million copies worldwide uh so congratulations to us and a sega for uh the job well done it sold really well if you guys want to know about it as well shin megami tensei 3 nocturne sold uh 250k copies in japan and asia that's not a small number but it's definitely not a big number like 1.3 million it's, it's definitely a one quarter of that uh, actually not even one quarter of that less than a quarter of that but it's definitely still good numbers you know it's still it's still good to see them uh it's a difference between doing a remaster from classic and then doing a uh, uh you know a complete game spin-off game for a persona 5 you know it's like it's like two different beasts right there but it's still still good numbers still happy uh to see what they're gonna come up with next and uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this what could it be what what's persona 5 you uh for now the biggest thing for me is this is the 25th anniversary of persona i do believe this game is probably gonna be at least taste in some capacity they have done this in the past where they just say uh, Persona 5 is coming up with some new spin-offs and then that's it or, or they put the showcase Persona 5 R not showing what it could mean but they just say keep buy up for more news you know they could do something like that that you could just just tease P5U and then do something else you know I, I don't know what they could do but um, it's definitely gonna be awesome I, I am super hyped guys this is uh excitement um but mainly to me just i would really like to see persona 6 <laughs> uh, out of everything that um kind of wrapping up my tops in here i'm excited but i also would like to see what's next in the series you know i i'm a little bit tired of the spin-offs but i can still probably take one or two more but uh, i would like just to see the next the next persona game uh but it is selling well, like I said, the Persona franchise is just blowing up around popularity. It just makes sense to make more of them. It's just make doing good. Um, let me know what P5U could mean to you. It could be anything. It could be another type of RPG. It could be something like Persona Q. You know, it could be uh, a, a Persona. Uh, I don't know what U could mean. It's, it's just I don't know. There's not a lot of words with you that sound pretty cool other than Ultimax. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, guys. And let me know in the comments below again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.